Hi, welcome to another computer tutoring training session. Today we're going to briefly look at how to indent paragraphs using Microsoft Word. We're particularly using Microsoft Word 2016, but these methods would be absolutely fine using 2013 and 2010 as well. So firstly, the first method we're going to use is the ruler, which is on the top of the screen. This is the ruler along here. Now, if you can't see the ruler for any reason, if we go to the top of the page to our ribbon and we go along to view, so, um, and then there should be a section here. It says ruler, grid lines, navigation pane. So just make sure ruler is ticked. See if I untick it, the ruler disappears, tick it, and the ruler comes back. So um, we've got the ruler along here. Now at the moment I'm just wanting to indent my first paragraph only. So to do that I can click anywhere in my paragraph, it doesn't matter where. And I'm going to go up to the funny egg timer here. Um, now the first section of the egg timer, the little uh, downwards triangle, this is a first line indent. So we covered this in the last session, that would move only the first line across. Um, but what we want to do is go to the very bottom, it's like a little square underneath the egg timer. So if I click on that and I'm going to pull the whole thing across and I can pull it over to wherever I want basically. So if I just pull it there, two centimeters, that's great. Um, and then on the right hand side, I'm going to pull that in as well. So I've got the, um, the bottom, if you like, of the egg timer. It says right indent if I hang over it. So if I just click on that and pull that over, you can see my paragraph has now become narrow. So let's just go back and take that back to the way it was. Now that only indented the first paragraph. So if I wanted to indent all of the paragraphs, I'm going to select them all. So if I press Control all to do that, um, remember if you have a document with a heading and other information that you don't want to be indented, don't press Control all because that would just select everything. Um, just manually highlight it. So again, I'm going to go to the little box that's hanging down here and I'm going to pull across. There we go. And on the right, I'm going to Take the little right indent triangle here and pull it across. There we are. Fantastic. So all my paragraphs have now been indented. So again, if I just go back. Now the other thing I can do with my ruler is create what's called a hanging indent. So this is where I want everything but the first line to be indented. So again, with my first paragraph, just click anywhere in it. And this would be the bottom half here of the egg timer, the second little triangle. If I just pull that across, see? Everything but the first line has now been indented. If I just go back, do that for the, all of the paragraphs, select that and pull it across, there we go. So this is actually a really good idea if you have points, you know, like bullet points, point one, point two, point three, if you have dates, or names, um, it's a really effective way to uh, format your document. So I'll just go back. Now the other way we can do all of this is through the um, actual paragraph dialog box. So at the top here on your ribbon, if you go to layout and then you down here it will say paragraph and there should be a little arrow here, you can open up the paragraph dialog box. So if we go down here to indentation, we can just manually select what we want. So for my left indentation, one centimeter, and for my right indentation, one centimeter, okay? And it's automatically indented. And if I go now to carry on typing, it will keep those um, measurements that I've put in. And um, again, if I want to do the uh, hanging line indent, I can also do this if I if I open up the paragraph box again, um, and I'll go here to special, add a special instruction. I want this as my hanging indent, okay? And there you can see. Um, it's indented everything but the first line. So I hope you've enjoyed those two ways that we can indent paragraphs using Microsoft Word. On my next training session, I'm gonna be looking at tabs, 
which are fantastic for spacing out information within your document in a professional, consistent way. So um, if you've liked this video, please uh, um, press the like button. Please leave a comment. If you're interested in any particular Word video, please let me know. I'd be really happy to do it. Subscribe and I'll uh, see you next week. Bye.